Okay, what is up my YouTube peoples? How are y'all feeling? Happy New Year. It is 2017 and we're about to make it happen. I'm going to start coming out with more videos for y'all. And today, what I want to talk about is ransomware and what you can do to create an image before you even get hit with ransomware or malware or a virus that completely disrupts your system and makes your system unbootable to the point where you can't even boot into Windows. So, where you going to get your operating system back from, right? So what you would have to do is create an image of your hard drive to then restore from that image so that you can get your operating system back up and running if something like that ever happens. Like you get hit with ransomware, you get hit with malware, uh, a really bad virus, and you can't boot into your system, all right? Now, I've been a big fan of creating an image of your hard drive for as long as I can remember. I mean, um, you know, system, Windows system restore is pretty good, but it kind of renders it useless if you can't even boot back into your operating system. So, it kind of defeats the entire purpose of it, you know what I'm saying? So, what I like to do is I like to create an image of my hard drive and I do this like about every two weeks or so I create an image of my hard drive so that way if I ever get hit with malware or a really bad virus that renders my system uh, unbootable I can then restore that image back to my hard drive and my operating system will be back up and running and it'll be like nothing ever happened you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm about to show y'all. Now, the program I like to use is a program called MacRealm Reflect. It's a free program. You can get it um, from the MacRealm Reflect website. And um, you can download it for free. Like I said, you can install it. It is a free program. So I'm gonna, we're going to do that right now. So we're going to go to the MacRealm Reflect website. MacRealm Reflect. Going to search for it on Google. And it's usually the first link. So there it is right there. Alright, so here what you want to do is download. This is the latest version right here. So what you want to do is download it. Always select home use. Right? And then you download it to wherever you want to download it to. Now I already have it downloaded. Um I already have MacRail Reflect installed. So you just go through the uh the install process. It's pretty straightforward. You just click on the uh the file once it's finishes downloading, you click on it, install it, it'll download, extract, and then it will post a uh an icon on your desktop, something that looks like this. Alright. So right after that happens, then what you want to do is you want to open it. So you're gonna run it. And what you'll get is this screen right here. Now, if you've never installed MacRealm Reflect, uh, 9 times out of 10, the first screen you'll see is a screen similar to this. There you go. It's a screen similar to this. It'll ask you if you want to create a rescue media USB drive. Now, you definitely want to do this before you create an image of your hard drive because... If your system is rendered useless and you can't even boot into your operating system, obviously you'll have to boot into something so that you can then restore your image. You see what I'm saying? So you can get um, a one gigabyte USB flash drive and uh, go through the, uh, the method of uh, creating that rescue media USB drive. All right. So you just go here. Basically, you just hit next. You see all of this. Um, you see a screen similar to this. Just hit next. Ah, it says update found. So uh, we're gonna hit continue, and we're gonna hit next. And it's obviously downloading the update. So we'll let it do its thing. And it should be done pretty soon. You know, I gotta go through the motions. All right. Now, it's almost done. All 
So while this is going through his motions, um, like I said, I've been a big fan of creating an image of your hard drive for as long as I can remember, pretty much the, since the beginning of my career. Uh, and the reason why I choose that is because, like I said, if you can't boot into your operating system, um, usually creating an image of your hard drive is the best way to get your operating system back without having to reinstall Windows, without having to reinstall those drivers, or none of that. Your system will be like nothing ever happened when it when you restore from that image. All right. Um, now you can't create a clone of your hard drive, but what happens is with that is that you would need another hard drive uh, to create a clone to. You see what I'm saying? And after you do that, you can't use that other hard drive uh, other than restoring that clone. But if you restore an image of your hard drive, then if you restore the image to like an external hard drive. What happens is you can then use that that external hard drive for other things as well because the image that you created is just an image file. You see what I'm saying? It's not creating like an actual clone of your hard drive to another hard drive. So therefore you can use that that external hard drive that you created the image to for other things as well and you will still have that image on that uh, on that external hard drive so so here is the screen right here so it says USB device enable multi meet multi uh, boot I always leave the check there and you just hit next and it will then start creating um, the USB rescue media drive see what I'm saying so uh, so once that's done then you have something that you can boot from uh, when your system is unbootable, so that way you can restore from that image. Okay. All right. So we're gonna hit uh, we're gonna hit cancel because I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, I already have a rescue media that I created. So uh, all right. So once you boot from the USB flash drive, right? Uh, you may have to set it in your BIOS uh, as the first boot device. Um, select USB and then it'll boot from uh, the USB flash drive uh, but some of you may not even have to do that some of you when you reboot your system it may boot right into the USB flash drive so you ain't even got to mess with the bias at all so uh, so that would be good um, but at any case once you uh, boot from the uh, the USB flash drive and it loads up what you'll screen what you excuse me what you see is a similar screen to this okay now, what you want to do is select image this disk, all right? So you would select this, like image this disk. Nine times out of ten, the um, your operating system is going to be either on disk one or disk zero, all right? Um, so if you if there is a disk zero there in, in your system, that's probably more than likely where your operating system is. Uh, so you want to leave a check there that will check all of this. This is every partition on that hard drive, and then you would just um, then the destination you want to uh, point where you want it to save to. So in this case, this is my external drive, my external USB drive, and I will just select uh, Win 10 image, and then hit OK. And then once you do all that, then you hit finish, and then it'll start doing its thing. Okay. So. Like I said, you hit finish and it will start um, creating the image of your hard drive on your um, your external hard drive. Or if you have a, another internal hard drive, you may want to save it to there. Uh, regardless, it will create the image of your hard drive. Now, um, make sure that you have a hard drive in which you're saving to at least um, like about 100 gigs or more. Uh, you want it to be almost the same size of your um, of your existing hard drive, or a little below that, so that way you know that you're getting um, the full size of your hard drive being imaged, and you don't run out of uh, disk space on your external drive. Okay, so like I said, you click finish, and then it'll start doing its thing. Now, um, you can create the image right from Windows, like. Like I like I'm doing it here, you like from Windows right here, and you can start create you can create that image. Um, so the only time you actually need the uh, the USB flash drive is if your 
you need to boot from the USB flash drive to restore that image. So that's what we're going to do right now. So let's say that um, we've just booted from the USB flash drive. Um, now we want to restore from the image that we just created. So what you do is you see, like I said, you'll see a similar, uh, similar screen like this. And then you just hit restore. You hit that option. And so what happens is you'll see this. And you go right here to restore image. And you select that. And so this here is the actual image file. And this is the destination. Okay. So always make sure the destination is the drive um, that you want to uh, want the image to go to. You see what I'm saying? Want to restore to it, as I should say. All right. So then after that. You leave that checked, then you hit next, and then it'll do its thing. All right. So I'm not going to do that because there's nothing wrong with my operating system, so it should be just fine. So that's what I do to uh, create an image of my hard drive. Uh, like I said, because ransomware is getting real popular these days. A lot of people are getting hit with ransomware, and so if you were to create an image of your hard drive. You will be just fine and um, you can restore right from your image of the hard drive that you created and you should be okay. Alright, so this is uh, John R. Peace out.